Hello everyone, it is Sherry from Sherry's Painting. Um, welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, welcome back if you have. Today we are going to be painting Poppy Garden and it is dedicated to all the men and women who lost their lives while defending our country and um, fighting for our freedom. So here's to you all. So you want to start with an 8x10 canvas. You want to use black acrylic paint as well as a flat half inch brush. And we're just going to spread that black acrylic paint across the entire canvas. And we also want to make sure to do our edges as well as it'll give our finished piece a uh, more professional look about it. So um, you can use a hair dryer to dry it off. Um, before we go on to the next step but just cover your canvas completely and do your edges and we will see you back on the next step okay everyone for step two you're going to need a piece of chalk i have chiseled my chalk at the end so that it comes to a point it's a little easier to control that way um, and what we're doing is we're drawing bricks, okay, because this is going to be a brick wall. You can draw your bricks however you want. You could make it stone even if you want, um, or rocks or anything like that. So um, just put your um, bricks or rocks or whatever it is you're going to do for your wall uh, in a haphazard little ways and different shapes and different sizes and all that kind of thing and then once we have located those and you're happy with your design then we will move right on to the next step So for step three, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be blocking in our bricks, just the base color, okay? Um, I am using a small filbert brush, and in hindsight, I probably could have used a bigger brush, but I really like this brush um, because I get a really soft, uh, a soft paint with it. So I'm blocking in these bricks and if you've chosen to do stones, you're going to do the same thing here that I'm doing. Um, but what I've done is I've mixed the black and the gray and or sorry, the black, the white and the yellow um, haphazardly in each um, stone so that it's all a little bit different every stone that I come across. And I want you to go to those chalk lines. Now, if you want to use a bigger brush than me, then feel free um, to do that. Whatever brush you are comfortable with using, then that's the brush that you should be using, okay? Um, everything that I do is not written in stone, um, quotation marks, but um, so whatever brush you're happy with and and um, whatever color, maybe you want to add some brown into yours or you know, whatever color you like in here is fine too. But for me, I, I want these to be fairly light bricks and I, I want the poppies to really pop because they're going to be standing or um, in the in the uh, right hand side of the canvas. So, so um, whatever you decide to use, the only thing that I am going to say is that I don't want any hard edges here. And by hard edges, what I mean is I don't want there to be definite distinctive lines um, when when this step is dry of the paint. So, and you want to make a, each brick a bit different um, or rock or whatever it is you're doing. You want to make them all a little bit different. Add the yellow in one, not in the other. Um, the brown in one, not in the other. The black, the white. Just different, different colors um, is what we're looking for here. We don't want anything that is you know, really super consistent between each of these bricks or stones. Um, the other thing I'm going to mention is that I did get a, this picture off of Pixabay. So if you wanted to download it um, and then you have that picture in front of you as a reference photo, okay? Um, 
I have tried to put them in the description box, but it ha I haven't been very successful at it. If any of you have um, an idea of how I can do it, then that would be amazing if you could share, um, because I feel like we all need to share. So, so once you have... Um, are happy with with the blocking in process of your bricks um, or stone then we are going to move on to the next step so we will see you in the next step So for this, everyone, I'm using, uh, step four, I'm using a um, brush that is completely dry, and um, I believe it is a number two uh, filbert that I've had for quite some time, and I use it for, for scrubbing because it is a brush that, um, you know, it's, I've had it for years, and it's a scruffy, it's a scruffy brush now, which is great for this sort of um, action on our um, uh, painting. So if you take the scruffy brush that you have, um, if you can find one, and you dip it in, um, you know, a little bit of paint in here, I'm using the black, the white, and the yellow, and you just pick a spot on the bricks and you just scruff it in, and it just adds in another layer. I still do not want any hard lines here. I want everything to be quite soft, but um, this is this gonna this is the um, second layer on our bricks or if you're doing rocks, the same thing. Um, and I'm going right up to the chalk lines now because I really want um, there to be very you know um, not a huge gap in between each of those bricks so and I'm adding a little bit of lightness a little bit of shadow in behind um, and we will be doing our final highlights um, on these bricks in the next step before we add in our our um, our poppy flowers so um, so just continue on with this step putting in the light putting in the dark um, you know Every, everywhere, just make sure you don't have huge gaps in between those stones. I mean, some of them might because this is an old wall, but, um, you know, um, just I just don't want you to make it all one consistent um, sort of color. And start at the top and work your way to the bottom. And, um, and then we will um, see how they look once they dry. And then we're going to start to lay in our poppy flowers on the right hand side of the canvas. So continue on until you are finished your bricks or rocks or whatever it is that you are doing. And then we will continue right on into the next step. So for step five, we're going to be blocking in a little patch of grass or the patch of the base of the poppies um, in the bottom right hand corner of the canvas. So I'm using my half inch uh, bristle flat bristle brush for this step and mixing some black with some hunter green. And I'm, I'm not really too concerned about um, you know how it looks. I just want this corner to be really dark so that we can add light to it um, in the next um, portion because we will be switching to the liner brush here right away once we've made that dark enough and um, if you've let it dry that's good too after you're complete. So now we, I, am, I have changed to my script liner brush. I am dipping my brush in water and then rolling it around in that paint. Um, sometimes it, it can be fairly difficult to get the paint 
off of the brush, but if you add water to it and roll it around in there, it just makes it flow a little bit easier sometimes. Um, sometimes it doesn't work out great, but you know, you just keep at it. So, um, so I'm just continually adding more grasses. I want the, the grasses to be higher, um, at the back or um, on the far right hand side of the canvas but I will be putting these grasses um, in between and I am using the straight green and a lighter green as well. I think it's called a Christmas green so um, and I just continue to do that all the way across the canvas and you know the grasses go um, in every direction so you know feel free to just warm up your wrist and and let that paint flow right off of that script liner brush it really doesn't matter the directions you go in at this point um, we just want to get those little grasses added on so that um, you know we know that there is stuff in behind these poppies and clearly this has been grown over for quite a while in a, in um, a step or two down the road we're going to be adding uh, a few little things to the bricks there as an artist we are able to uh, we have the licenses to add um, characteristics um, into bricks and rocks and trees and all that sort of thing or basically anything that you paint so we will be doing that but continue on with these grasses until you're happy we want quite a few of them and so switch between those colors and we will see you all on the next step So in this step, we are locating our poppy. So I'm using the sharpened chalk again, and I'm making circle, the biggest circle on the right. They are circles, but they're not even, okay? Um, just place them sporadically along the, the top right-hand side of the canvas, as well as toward the bottom of the canvas and across the canvas. They don't have to be the same size. We don't want consistency here. We want it to be inconsistent um, with sizes and shapes. So when you are happy with the design you have made with your poppies, then we will continue on with the next step. All right, everyone. So for this step, we're going to block in our poppies. So I am using my round brush, my small round brush, and I've mixed the black and the red together. And you want to mix a fair amount of this because we're having to block all of these poppies in. So I have mixed um, the black and the red to make this very, very deep red. And I want you just to go in and block in all those shapes you made of those poppies. Um, if you would like to add more at this point, you can. Um, so feel free to do whatever design makes you happy. But I want the tallest ones to be toward the right hand side of the canvas. So just block in and use, um, you know, go around those shapes go to your the end of your chalk lines you can still have chalk showing if you want we because we will be wiping it off afterward um, in a later step but um, just go along with those shapes that you've made for your poppies and um, and then we will you know continue on after that the other thing i want to mention here is um, we would like or what i'd like you to do is i would like you to take your dark red paint and i want you just to add a few little extra poppies to um, inside the grasses because there will be some that are partially hidden from from view or possibly the flowers have already flowered out so add some of those as well and again once you're happy with what you've done then um, we will go right on to the next step.
So in this step, I am using my filbert brush and I'm going in with the straight red here on the poppies. And I'm just making the stroke the direction uh, to go toward the direction of uh, the center of the poppy. The center of the poppy may not necessarily be in the actual center, but it might be offset to the left or the right of the poppy. And we're also going to end up having petals that go in the front of the poppy. So um, just you want to leave some of those dark mark or dark shadows in there, and then we will be going in and highlighting as well. So do all your poppies, and like I said, make the stroke toward the centers of the poppies, and um, and then hopefully, um, hopefully it'll all work out well. And um, like I said, just take your time on the stage. You can pause the video if you like, um, you know, but don't make everything so uniform. You need to leave those dark gaps in there as well because, you know, poppy petals are, they kind of um, fall in certain places and they hang over in other places and they're not all the same, okay? So some of them you see more from the bottom, some of them you see more from the top. So keep that in mind as you are putting this coat on this is just the second coat on the poppies we will be adding highlights and centers to those poppies as well but for now um, um, just fill in those little poppies leave the ones you've put in the grass for now we will be putting a highlight on those as well but um, not quite yet so just continue on with your uh, poppies and um, I am using straight paint here. I'm not mixing it with any water at all. So um, that way it's thicker in some spots and might get a little texture on your canvas this way, which is always a good thing. So once you've done that, you can rinse your brush off and dry it. And then I'm gonna go into a little bit of gray and a little bit of white. And I'm just gonna um, put a little lighter color around some of those bricks. The, the light is going to be coming in from the right hand side. So on some of them, I'm just putting a little bit of a highlight um, toward the edges there, just to give them a little bit more dimension. And the ones that are in behind the poppies, I'm probably gonna lighten up a bit, but just not quite at this stage. Now the other thing I'm doing is I went with my liner brush, dipped it in water, and I'm going to make little cracks here in the um, in the in some of the rocks and little spots where it might be shadowed and and um, in there and it just gives it more of a realistic feel. We will be defining between those rocks as well um, again in a later step. But um, for now, I just want some little cracks showing through because, you know, sometimes that is just the way these rocks are. So go into your darker area and maybe just to find those, uh, find, put a few cracks here and there and um, just scumble your brush across the, the rocks and with not a whole lot of pressure, but just a little bit. Now, as an artist, you are able to do um, your own thing. And in this particular painting, I am going to put a heart in the brick. Um, so I am making the heart now. And um, um, we will be highlighting that as well, but you can do whatever uh, shape you want. But um, I, I just felt like I needed to put a heart in the brick here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna be writing a name of uh, a coworker who has has passed away this week. Um, and I just wanted to pay tribute to her as well. So again, I'm just putting a little bit of black shadow in some of the areas and lightly going across the um, the edge. So here I'm putting more cracks and stuff. 
And I'm writing the name of my coworker here. So Dar, this one's for you. And, um, you know, just add, add and fill wherever you feel you need to. Now I'm gonna go in with the white and put a little bit of highlight on the right hand side of, um, of things just to give it that, um, you know, where the light might be hitting. And we will be adding more highlights. I'm just sort of waiting for the red to dry here while I um, while we do this. And you know, put them where you feel like you need them, where the where you feel like the light might be shining off of the edge of those um, edge of those bricks. And you know, my messages um, are fairly subtle here, but. Um, also um, very important to me as well. So a little bit of light shining through there. I want the lightest part around those edges there. So now I've, I'm switching to my round brush and I'm going to mix a little bit of red and go in and put um, make a little bit of um, another layer on those poppies just to make it a little redder. Um, so I really want these things to stand out and, um, you know, and because they're, they're so beautiful and they mean so much to so many people, you know, for all those war veterans that um, put their lives on the line for us to give us our freedom. So Put a little bit, mix a little bit of white, a little bit of red, and then just go in and, um, you know, in the in the darker spots, leave those dark because we still want that dark to show through. And then we're going to go in uh, in the in the next step here, and we're going to um, add a, a little bit in the center of the poppy. But for now, just finish that up and. Um, you know, a little bit lighter here, a little bit darker there, but we will be going in to add in our final highlights as well in the next step to our bricks as well as to our poppies. But we're also going to be uh, wiping off the, um, the remainder of the chalk as well. So wherever you feel you need and um, just continue on with this step. Um, don't overwork it. Uh, sometimes I have a really bad habit of doing that, but we don't want to overwork this too much um, because we want them to look um, fluid and free. And, and we're going to be adding more grasses in the front there as well. So, so do this until you feel like you have the design proper. And then I will see you back here in the next step. So here I'm just washing off the chalk marks now. We want to get them all off the canvas. Don't press, press too hard. Um, you can use a, a damp uh, cloth if you like or a damp paper towel, but don't press too hard. You don't want the color to rub off. So in this step, we are going to be uh, putting in some highlights on our or, uh, highlights on the flowers. I'm also putting a little bit of yellow ochre in the center of those flowers. Um, trying not to go in every center, but off to the side a little bit. And perhaps you can see some more than others. So just a little bit of yellow ochre in the uh, center of your flowers there. Um, and then we're going to go in with the liner brush and I'm going to go into a little bit of red and a little bit of white and I'm just going to um, highlight some of the edges of these flowers and put in a little bit more of a, a brightness to them. So on the edges, on some of them where the petals may be. So take your time doing this step and, um, you know, we're, we just want to add, you know, um, a little bit of um, light and 
just so we can see what direction those poppies are going in. And it just adds another extra layer onto those poppies. So I'm just going to finish doing all of that. And, you know, do that. Um, make sure you're still going in the direction of the center of the poppy, just to be sure. I'm also adding a little bit of red highlight to those other poppies that were um, in the grasses there, the ones that we couldn't hardly see, but we know that they're there. So we're just kind of giving the indication that there's other poppies that may have been back there that um, are maybe, you know, fallen off by now or they're dying by now. So continue doing that. Now I'm going into white and I'm going to highlight, okay, some of these petals here. And um, just to, you know, to individualize each petal a little bit. But by the time we're done, um, you know, they, they will pop out quite a bit. Don't overdo this step. Um, but we do want there to be a little bit of light on here so we can see the indication of, um, you know, where those petals are. And we also want to show where that light is shining as well. And then I'm going to go into my uh, pure white now and just, again, give it a little more definition there as to where that light might hit. And I continue doing this for the poppies. Also, I'm putting a little bit of white in the center now as well over top of that yellow. Um, just at the top of the yellow, actually. But it really makes these poppies stand out. So, And we want them to stand out. So in the center, a little bit, a little bit of a dab there above the yellow. And just wherever you see fit with the... Um, with the highlighting. I think this one here I had to do a couple times because I didn't do the shape quite right. So I had to go back in with red and fix that up after. But we all make mistakes, so not to worry. Um, we can fix it in a later, at the later stage here. But continue filling those in. I really appreciate you guys. Um, you know, taking the time to watch my channel. So it means a lot. And I just hope you can get some, some, some sort of guidance out of it. And I mean, I'm not perfect either, but um, if I can help uh, anybody with their painting skills a little bit, then I guess I've done my job. So, so here I am fixing up the poppy um, that I didn't do such a great job on. And continuing to go in and finish those up. Also adding a little highlight to the other ones that were in the distance. And in a minute here, we're going to be um, adding in uh, some more grasses and things. <clears throat> so I'm using my, uh, my little round brush here. I'm putting it in green, adding a little bit of white, just to add some more uh, leaves and grasses to the bottom there. So I just want it to look a little fuller back in there. And I'm also going to add a few stems to the poppies because we can't have them floating in the air. So just a little bit of green and a little bit of white mixed together. And I think I used the dark green in there as well. Just wherever, just drop them in there. You know, some of them may be higher, some of them may be lower, some of them may be bent over. Some of them may be just, you know, hanging out. So and now we're going to go in with a little white. I'm going to add a bit of highlight there as well on those grasses. And just continuing on. And I want to make those stems, you know, I want to make those poppies seem like they're actually hanging or, you know, on a stem. So you know, I'm trying to indiv individualize those now. But adding that um, white highlight as well, just, you know, it just adds a whole bunch of dimension to the painting, so. And 
And then I'm adding a little more white highlight to those uh, poppies at the uh, in the distance there or in the back and then a little more white uh, like a little thicker paint this time just so I know I've got them right here and just where that sun might hit and glisten And now I'm going into the straight white and I'm going to add some blades of grass and I'm going to highlight those stems again and just add some uh, blades of grass here and there, some little sticks and twigs and in, in here and there. So do as many as you want or as few as you want, it's up to you. Some of them I'm making a little taller. Now I'm mixing in with the green as well, just to have a little difference of color there. It really does make everything pop when you use this white. Now I'm going into the black. And I'm going to fill in, uh, I'm using my um, round brush here, and I'm going to, to fill in a little bit around those, the edges of the, um, of the bricks as well. Just again to add just a little bit more dimension here. And then adding a little bit more red to the poppy in the front here. That's a little bit darker, but he's in shadow, so you don't see him quite as much. But I am leaving or putting a little bit more red on him as well. I really hope you guys enjoy this. And, you know, feel free to pause the video anytime as well. Um, you know, if you want to spend more time or, you know, and, and you know, your, your picture might be completely different than mine. And um, I'd love to see them. So now you're just adding, I'm adding a little more highlights to the edges of the, um, of the wall structure, the brick wall structure. And just some white here and there. A few little um, cracks and creaks and all that kind of thing. And then we have one more step to go. And then we will see you on the final step. So the final step is signing your work wherever you want and with whatever color you like. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And I um, just want to say thanks again to all the people who lost their lives fighting for our freedom. So until next time, it's Sherry signing off from Sherry's Painting. Bye.